Hey Scott, how are you? Um, hey Tom, how's it going? Good, thank you. Excellent. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. You've done some pretty quote unquote scary things in your career thus far. Is doing the checkered flag at Monaco the scariest thing you've had to do? Because I, I don't know, how, that would be like the scariest thing in the world to me. No, actually the scariest thing I've ever done in my life is I went swimming with killer whales uh, two years ago and that was terrifying. It was amazing. I would never do it again. It was once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, there's no video evidence or photo evidence, so people probably won't believe me, but we got in the water, we saw them there, and it was it was pretty wild. For a second, I was going to say it was being a Spurs fan, but that's, that's just... <sighs> that is also you, terrifying, that's a, yeah. that's a quiet thing. <laughs> um, this show, I mean, it's extraordinary, and the character that you play is extraordinary. Do you feel, you know, obviously come off of Avengers and all the stuff that you've done, did this feel like, did this feel like the right moment to tackle something like this? Because it's very complex, and you get to do some things in this that people... And maybe won't be expecting of you. I wouldn't necessarily say it was the right moment. I don't think there is ever a right moment to take on a job like this. I think as an actor, you know, jobs like this, they don't come along all the time. This is an opportunity unlike anything really I've ever had before in terms of being able to showcase what I believe I'm capable of. Um, I was delighted when I spoke to Akiva about the crowded room because I'd never really come across anything quite like it. Uh, so to get to take it on and to, you know, give it my best shot and, and to and to try and do something unique and different and, and to leave my mark in this crazy world uh, was really exciting. So I'm delighted that I'm here today talking about it and I am so proud of it. It feels very old school in the sense, obviously, now with streaming, you can sit and blitz a show. But this feels like a show that needs to marinate every every week. And that's something that you've done with Apple. Was that something, obviously, in your kind of producer uh, head as well that, that that was something that was key to the kind of this show yeah I mean I think everyone sort of unanimously was in agreement that this was a show that we wanted people to talk about week in and week out you know we're asking a lot of people it's very intense it's very emotional you have to really focus and we want people to go into each episode ready and rearing to go and had you just binge the show I, I think that we would lose audience members so for me I'm so excited to kind of watch it week in and week out experience it with the world see what they think see their theories as to how the show is going to transpire um, and ultimately I think that we all made the right decision to to release them weekly obviously we dropped the first three June 9th and then following that each week one episode will come out for an additional seven weeks exciting uh, I just did just, just want to ask you about uh, Spider-Man because it's a year and a half since No Way Home and it seemed I was at the the one and only press screening and the excitement was just I mean everyone went mad when yeah. you know, people came on screen all that kind of stuff are you still pinching yourself not just at the fact that it was successful during a time with the pandemic but that you managed to pull off what you pulled off not just solely all the other extra stuff shall we say but the fact that you were able to make the movie that you guys wanted to make. Yeah, I mean, it was a huge achievement. Uh, and that said, it was a massive undertaking. You know, keeping that all under wraps and, and finding a way to make it work and working with Toby and Andrew and and bringing the other villains into into this amazing universe that, the, that Marvel have set up. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. I still kind of can't believe that we pulled it off and it did as well as it did. I'm really proud of everyone involved. Uh, it was, you know, it, it feels like years ago now that we did that, um, but it was an amazing time. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've seen Willem Dafoe on social media saying Norman's on sabbatical, honey. It seems to be like one of those clips that's just going to live forever. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be there forever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tom, it's always nice to chat to you. I wish you all the best with Likewise. the show. It's fantastic. I look forward to watching more. Thanks very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey You Guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey.